March. What happens in Canada in March? You gotta uh, wear uh, a lot of pants. Пришел марток, поддевай парток, meaning that the weather is totally unpredictable. And it snowed like crazy overnight here in Cambridge, Ontario. Check this out. There's a freeway 401 over there. Look how much snow we have. This is my truck. <laughs> Here's my car. <laughs> this is Christmas weather. But on Christmas, we had no snow. Now look at this guy's uh, Freightliner. <laughs> I think he parked it uh, two or three days ago. Yeah, check out the axles. This guy is pulling real heavy loads. One, two, three, four. Four axles in the back, two lift axles, and then he has three uh, like a regular truck. But that's March for you in Canada. Goodness. <laughs> oh boy. At least now I think it's... Uh, I don't think it should snow again. Uh, the sky yesterday was all like real bad clouds and stuff like that. Now it's all blue. Looks like summer except it's still very cold. Here's a very old uh, fire truck. Winter is back in session. Huh. The roads don't look too bad. I guess the uh, the road maintenance worked overnight. Otherwise, over here it'd be like knee deep. And the delivery is just yeah. We're crossing over 401. Yeah, the 401 looks good all clean and the delivery is just 10 kilometers or six miles <laughs> away from where I parked my truck this is like the best deal ever except of course the load didn't pay much but you know I had time to zoom zoom on my Mazda which now sounds awesome with the two Spintech mufflers and uh, and the K&N uh, air filter it's an interesting combination you would never think that that little K&N filter would add so much air but it does because I can hear it in how the exhaust note changed all right here we go Side and I'm parked next to the crane. So we're gonna try to. Uh, they have to lift it and put it behind the behind the building over there on that side. And the air conditioning guys are here uh, to install this. So you see, that's why they keep it on the truck because it's uh, basically. 
We got probably a small factory, but... And the guy was walking around my truck with a little wrench and screwdriver, and at first I couldn't understand what he was doing. And then I realized he was unscrewing the bolts that are holding these uh, air conditioning units. Uh, you know, they're fixed to the skids with bolts. You see, virgin snow on the side. Now, of course, I had to back, I had to go like this and then back in here. I took a few attempts and, uh, you know, the, the difficult part is, you see this little uh, red post in here? Basically warns you that there's a big ditch in there. But that's the problem, like you cannot see under the snow. And I had to watch my, of course, my uh, uh, trailer's rear wheels, but I also had to watch my front, like this part of the truck. Because what happens is that first of all, you could have hit, you could hit something like that, right? If you're not careful, your wheels can go in the ditch, and that's it, you're stuck. And that's unit number one. The second one is still over there. It looks kind of cool. I love these cranes. Well, because that thing weighs 2,000 pounds. For this crane, it's nothing. Uh, it can extend the boom probably like as far as he wants because of the light weight. But when it's when it's heavy, he has to be really close. You know. This month I learned about the cranes. I learned about the cranes because they so often unloaded me is that you know the markings on the boom, like the rating, mean nothing uh, because it's just in theory. Uh, because he has to be really close to the pickup point to lift the maximum uh, maximum weight. But something like this. You can extend the boom. So yeah, they're just dropping it on the on the ground right behind that building over there. Which of course nobody seems to notice that we have snow around and it's winter, and they're installing new air conditioning system. That's kind of like ironic, a little bit, I think. And the last piece is ready to leave my trailer. And they use the spreader bar. And I asked the guy about the capacity of the crane. It's an 80 ton crane. Uh huh. So they're gonna put it on the ground. That's it. All I gotta do now is get rid of that skid. They cut the other one in two because it was too heavy to lift off. Now this one, I'll go help the guy. I'll probably be able to move it, but it's like this one is humongous. That's it. Another load delivered to another happy customer.
think we're good. I'm not gonna change because I might get uh, I might I might get a load. No, I'm just going to Starbucks, grab some coffee, and uh, edit this video.